Ending right before a uh, grave. Which is something weird. As if she is a ghost of some kind. That is. Um, anyway, about uh, the thing. That uh, lady, I do believe. I heard she is named Summer Rose. Which is supposedly either Rose, Ruby's uh, mother or her grandmother. One of them, both. Now, I spoke about the four girls, I spoke about them, Ruby, Ways, Blake, and Yang. Yang, <coughs> about her own special, well, kind of ability that she gets raged whenever someone touches her hair. Seriously, this is kind of, again, repetitive and old style. Sorry, but I do not like Yang much. About as a fan for the show itself, myself, I would say that my favorites are Blake and uh, R Ruby herself, alone. I didn't really like Chris much since she is quite like the Empress personality between the girls. I don't like Yang much because, well, she's Yang. Sorry, but I don't really like her at all. About the show right now, and the supporting characters, uh, Cinder, by herself, is, I believe, a character that's referenced of Cinderella from uh, Disney. She, doubtlessly, she is going to be the last boss fight of the whole show, I believe, and <coughs> she has some weird relation with the team of the four girls. She has the power of dust, doubtless, doubtlessly. She <coughs> still wants to collect it, and as I told you before, the power of dust is something that's not for everyone to control. Um, what else do I say? Do I have to say? I like Cinder's uh, personality. She's quiet, mysterious, ready for the act, and ready for the kill always. She, uh, Monty and the team did really nicely uh, done job designing her and her look and such. The, she kind of reminds me of another evil woman called Medusa in the anime Soul Eater. That woman I hated with passion. I just wanted to cut her guts and eat them off. Quite literally. I hated her so much, I despised her so much, I contempt her so much. Cinder looks kind of like her. And I am ran out of ammo. This is super. Looks like this will be my last uh, move. Unless I can get some drops of ammo. That is. Um, continuing on about it. And out of him totally. Awesome. <coughs> about Cinder, I do see her as a good mighty villain for the girls. And I do see her as their final boss, like an ultimate challenge. Um, about the supporting characters like Sun and Neptune and such, uh, those uh, for Sano himself to come out in the final episodes of the first volume was a little bit kind of surprising. Since, well, he's a monkey, and, and from the way the show looks right at now, they look like they want to make him <coughs> Blake's boyfriend, which is not that much acceptab accepted by all the fans, to be honest. I'm the uh, one of the fans that do not accept him as her boyfriend since, well, Blake is not a type of the girl that you want to miss with, or you want to get too close to. She looks like more of the type that wants to be left alone in peace. So to hurry up on them, 
the second volume and give them instantly the, some boyfriends to make some plot twists and such is kind of a bad idea. Really like. <coughs> About Neptune himself, the new kid and their son's uh, friend. Supposedly they are trying to make him to be Reese's boyfriend. About Ruby herself, I don't really see the enemy giving her any boyfriends at all since she's mostly much more being friended with Reese herself. That is as for Ruby. Um, and I don't really see much of a problem in that since I do support the girls' uh, friendships. Yes, Invisible Dark now is saying it out loud. Invisible does support the relationships between girls. Because I see them interesting and I see them quite better than the normal relationships themselves. Yeah, I do prefer the girls' friendships over anything else. I literally do. Anyway, <coughs> it's my own point of view, and you don't have really to... Wow! Support or decline it. For them for clan out loud. Looks like the Beowulfs do not accept what I just said, so then... Deal with it, I will kill you all. I have no place with for haters or for swears. And I lost most of my potions. How awesome is that? Um, <coughs> anyway, the fan base um, for the show is very big. I saw so many of fan made arts, and I do believe that the fans do agree and accept the point of the girls being together is better than having any boyfriends and such. Anyway, let's go away from this point and focus a little bit about the show itself. In the first volume where they had the shadow people and such, it was a nice touch from Monty to make since the anime did need to focus a little bit more about the main characters in it because, um, well, they are quite a new and it was somehow an introduction um, volume about the as well first volume had the song this will be the day very nice and great song very creative and has really nice lyrics I do dare to say that I and many of the other uh, Ruby fans did enjoy much more the first song more than the second one because they, we found it much more creative and more meaningful <coughs> about the character development for Ruby and her friends as well um, Ruby herself is jumping between the playful little girl and the caring team leader, which is nice. Um, she is uh, finding herself between many twists between the school, her friends, and her friend uh, Penny, what is her name? I'm not really sure. That friend of her, the android one, or the robotic one, is a reference to Pinocchio from Disney, as well. Another reference from Disney for the win. Um, sorry, I'm picking my nose. I'm itching my nose. I'm scratched. Uh. Ow, 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 ow. Enough, 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 enough. Okay. Out of potions. Uh, <coughs> how, let's just continue on the chat. Um, she was just placed there in the first volume to make it a much plot twist and such. In the first, second volume, her friend over there <coughs> gives you the attention that Ruby is somehow 
involved with uh, problems for the whole city itself since she is right now being friend with a daughter of one of the military weaponry inventor and uh, next up is if you saw the volume 2 so far that some of the military weapons already were caught from by the bad guys and I do believe we are going to see where we can see where this is going to be going for the, the military will come out uh, having lost many of their weapons and Team Ruby will have to either fight these weapons or do something about them and I will just leave it to Monty to surprise us because I don't have really much expectations about what will happen next in the show itself about the now second volume when the shadow people went away the, the <coughs> volume starter was a fight between a werewolf guy which is a shopkeeper and the librarian keeper and um, the other two since the guys went at last to the color to the school itself it means that the real fight is going to be quite soon <coughs> do I have anything to comment else about Ruby is I didn't really like much the way Monty combined every single weapon with a gun it kind of felt really wrong I'm not sure why but really it did feel so much wrong Um, I don't. I didn't really like the idea of having the scythe and the gun together. I mean, the rifled gun. I didn't like the idea of having the wrestling fists and the shotgun shells together as well. I didn't. I, I did not like this idea since it really kind of destroys the purpose of the weapon itself but again the show proved me totally wrong since they do use their weapons weird combinations together all the, all the time the one the weapon that came out quite a surprise was Soon's uh, weapon from the last fight of volume 1 the non shako uh, gun combined that was a little bit weird, to be honest. <coughs> okay, right now to finish my review over here about Ruby, the show itself, I would say that it's a quite interesting, have lots of potential. They didn't yet show us everything that they have. Uh, I would like to thank so much Rusty for making it and I'd like to as well to thank uh, so, so much Jordan Scott for making this game. Um, special thanks goes to Monty for creating the Ruby series and characters. And looks like this is this will be my wave over here. I'll try my best not to die too fast, but let's see what will happen. Um, how much will I give the first volume at least of the show? The character development is nice. The characters themselves are very much likable and lovable. The show does have its flaws and its strength points. <coughs> okay. Quite nice. At least I reached... Uh, Wave 18, which is nice and new. Um, just to finish off this uh, video, I'd say that I really enjoyed the show. I love it. I like the characters. If they do make uh, toys uh, for Ruby and her friends, they will get much. Uh, profit from it. If they can turn it, this game into a full game, it will be awesome as well. And 
Um, the show itself is very successful, uh, which is great. And I do wish for it the best. Thank you, Monty, for making Ruby. Thank you, Rooster Teeth, for making the whole show and for everything. And I'd say I'd like to say as well thank you, George and Scott, for this great game and demo. Um, I'll be stopping this video right now, and I will show you how to edit up your keys and such for this game. So, <coughs> see you in a minute.